three, two, one. <laughs> Hello. Hi. I'm here to ask you a question. Lay it on me, sister. Okay, a lot of people are wondering this, so speak loud and clear. Okay. <laughs> So it is the summer. I have a family vacation coming up. We're going somewhere for a week with the extended family. Uh, I feel always happy afterwards when I'm looking back at the pictures, but it is stressing me out just straight up. It's stressing me out beforehand. And you know a lot about balance between partners and mm -hmm. getting what you need in a family. So like, how do I give my kids the family vacation of their dreams and also not go crazy? Mm-hmm. Great question. And I'm just going to start by rebranding family vacation as a family trip. So there's no such thing as a vacation with your family. When you're the one in charge. When you're, yeah. Even Ooh. when you're one of the two yeah, parents yeah. or whatever your situation is. If you're a parent, it's not, vacations are not fun. <laughs> if your family is there. The and it also makes you feel like you've had a vacation. Like, oh, I just came back from a family vacation. You're probably no. exhausted. It's a family trip and those are still fine to take yeah. um if you want to if you don't want to take a family trip don't take a family trip like mm -hmm. that's my first piece of advice mm -hmm. so we haven't taken a family trip in a year because we had a nine month old a year ago now we have an almost two year old and that like the amount of work and stress and travel versus the amount of minimal fun we would yeah. have <laughs> Just never worked out. We're yeah. getting closer. Now mm -hmm. she's in toddler level. She's almost a two-year-old. Now we're like, okay, we could go somewhere where it would be more fun for us than it was hair hair yeah. pulling out for right. us. So, but evaluate. If it's not going to be worth it, don't do it. And you can use those boundaries with your with your people. We told our family, like, we're not bringing our baby on a flight. Yeah. So if you, you can always come visit us. Like, yeah. you can come visit us for the whole entire winter. You can't stay with us. <laughs> But you can come visit us and we'll spend time with you, but we are not traveling. Right. Yeah. I was also thinking of a friend who goes, uh, she has three younger kids. And so she and her spouse go on a family trip mm -hmm. with the kids. And for the last two days, they drop the kids off at the grandparents' house. So vacations are always around where the grandparents live. Mm. And so they go on a two-night vacation. Just yes. the two of their, them as grown-ups. So my friend, the whole time she can think about... Here comes my real vacation. This is fun. I'm doing a family trip. It's a lot of work, blah, blah, blah. But I also get a real vacation oh. hotel spa situation at the end. A vacation from your family trip. Yes. <laughs> I'm doing that forever. Great. Starting right now. Ah! <laughs> the other thing about a family trip is if your partner is going on it, then yes. they are your partner hard nerve yeah. like you if you do a lot of the prepping then yeah. they do a lot while you're there if you're mm -hmm. having a family picnic on your family trip you're chasing around your little person yep. for a little while they're chasing around you're taking yep. shifts you need to communicate shifts. that because if you're also if you're going on a family trip and you think it's going to be a lot of stress like loop those people in give them a job like Dylan, you're on dinner. Yeah. Joby, you're on posy. You know, yep. give people jobs, the jobs that you would actually want them to have. Yes. Because if they want to have you yes. around them, they have to work a little bit. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. So call on your people, call on your partner. If they get to go golfing with their bros, then yes. you get to take some time off completely off duty. No diapers, right. no decisions, no dishes. You are not the servant to your family on the family trip. Right. You are one of the many people responsible for the family. Right, and if your husband just was like, hello, I'm having a coffee, and then I'm going golfing, and went golfing, mm -hmm. that's what you need to do when you go off on your own. Don't make all the things pre-made. Don't mm -hmm. pre-pack all the diaper mm -hmm. bags. Just do the, the limited amount. He's going to keep them alive. Yeah. Anyways. He'll find the diapers. Yes. And if he doesn't, the first time, the next time before you go, he'll be like, I got to figure out where those diapers yeah. are. And then he'll know where the diapers are. Yes. And then you won't have to do that shit anymore. Yes. It's great. Just stop doing it. Then you won't have to do it. Just do a trial run on vacation. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, friends.